It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna look at the top camera gear that influenced me and impacted me in 2020. I did a video like this uh, last year and now it's time to look at what changed cameras and photography for me this year. All right, without further ado, you're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, so I'm gonna go in reverse order somewhat and uh, I'm gonna share with you the gear that I recommend that impacted me. At the end, I'm gonna analyze and kind of look at trends and things that might have been going on with me over the course of the year. But the number one... <laughs> it's always ready, it's reliable, and it's right. It was a good fit for me in 2020. The first item I wanna share is the Canon EOS R. Last year, 2020 was crazy, it was weird, it was tough, it was good, it was bad. Um, I had lost a ton of uh, freelance photography gigs due to the COVID. Um, I also, my channel tripled in number of subscribers, so things went well in that way. And the Canon EOS R was at the root of both of those for me, my freelance uh, gigs and YouTube. We're sustained by the Canon EOS R. It's a fun camera to use, it's reliable, and it's right. Moving on, this little guy right here is the Kershaw Shuffle. And uh, I got a little bit into EDC gear. You can see some of that on my Instagram, but this little guy has what most uh, others don't is a screwdriver tip right there. And I love having that. I put it in my pocket and every time I'm going out to shoot, I have a way to um, tighten and release the tripod base plate screw, 20 bucks totally worth it. All right, this one is kind of surprising. The Halo Bolt. It is essentially a charger, a portable power bank. And I got this uh, suggestion from Pablo Diaz, Buenos Diaz Imagery. And um, it's amazing. You can charge a laptop for an hour on the road, which I've done, like I'm downloading or rendering footage and I just plug the laptop into this and drive home on my commute and the computer runs off of this power. Um, it charges cell phones. It can jumpstart your car. So I think this has been amazing. Um, it provides a lot of um, safety and security for me on shooting on location or in gigs where you need some extra power. Um, it's a little bit pricey. I think it's around $99, but this gives you peace of mind. And there's a cool flashlight. All right, so you're never without uh, power. All right, now the GoPro Hero 7. Let me see if I have my GoPro here. Now the GoPro Hero 7, known for its wide, wide angle, and it's great for um, a lot of things, action camera related. It is an amazing camera. Now the, I have the 7, I don't have the 8, the 9, um, but this is an amazing camera. Now, I've been diving lately, Malibu, Palos Verdes, Crystal Cove, and having this and being able to document those adventures has been great. It's waterproof. I just put in a little floaty case and uh, attach it to a cuff, a uh, wrist strap or a shoulder strap, or arm strap, and away you go. You won't lose it, it'll float, and you get some great uh, images. Now, the thing I've been doing is taking single images in raw format, so I have more power to tweak them in Lightroom when I get back. So that's the GoPro Hero 7. Uh, it's got time-lapse, night-lapse, hyper-smooth stabilization, 60 frames per second, so you can do some slow-mo. It's awesome. Now, here's a surprising one. The Bose a SoundLink Micro. It's a speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker, and I love it because I can take it on gigs with clients. Uh, when I do photo shoots, I ask clients to give me a playlist uh, of their favorite songs, songs that get them pumped, make them feel relaxed, energized, and um, I connect my phone uh, on shoots and I just play their favorite music. And so this is cool to put uh, clients at ease and have a good time and create an environment, create a mood. So this gives me uh, meaning, music, and more. It's just portable, it's kind of weather resistant, rubberized, uh, charge lasts a long time. So this has been a great value. In fact, I ordered one for the kitchen and one for upstairs. So I, I do love these. All right, now this is gonna seem a little bit weird. Um, this is gonna seem a little bit weird. Um, I'm actually including two software subscriptions in this year's gear that made a difference for me. And one is Spotify. And the reason is I use Spotify to organize playlists for clients when I do um, shoots. And so I just ask them, hey, what are some songs? And they put it in Google Doc and I just build a uh, playlist. Sometimes on the way they gig, it's that easy, I can do it on my phone. 
The other one is Capture One. Now this Capture One, I'm not fully transitioned into editing all my photos with it, but every tethered session I did in 2020 was uh, shot in Capture One. The workflow is wonderful. A benefit of Capture One is you can also have your um, clients with an iPad watching as you take the shot and they go to your laptop, then it pops up on the Capture One Pilot app and they can look at the results and they can actually rate those. So uh, I had a shoot, uh, a couple of shoots where by the time we wrapped, the client had selected their top 10 images and I was off and running ready to edit instead of going home, downloading, then emailing them a link. That is a hassle. So Capture One um, shooting tethered has been amazing. As soon as you're done with the session, everything's on the, on the laptop. It's awesome. Definitely recommend it. All right, now this is gonna seem a little bit weird. Now this is an odd one. Commercial work steel, <laughs> commercial work table made out of stainless steel. I got this off of Amazon. My wife and I were doing a cooking vlog and we ordered a stainless steel table. Uh, it was in our kitchen for a while. Um, it's about six feet long. It's pretty long, maybe five feet, um, maybe four feet. I'll put the dimensions in the description along with the link. Um, but it's been great and I love it for product photography because the, the surface is clean and reflective and you add some lights and you get the out of focus part in the foreground and it creates this cool light streaks or light trails towards the product. Very unique and um, I've been loving that for you know cocktail photography. Um, so my EDC photography has been done with a uh, stainless steel table. And uh, it's great, I just kind of put in the closet when I'm not using it. Granted, things do get piled on it, so it's hard to get out of the closet sometimes, but I, I love to have it nearby for product photography. All right, now I can't show you the next product because I'm filming on it. It's the Fuji. It's the Fuji X-T4. Sharp, stabilized, and in sync. It has 4K 60 frames per second. It has 240 frames per second in HD, and I love the stabilization. The image quality is out of this world. And I love this. Now, I uh, picked this up after renting it, and when I rented it, I just fell in love with I, what I saw on the viewfinder. And I was like, this is gonna be uh, a great camera to hold and to use. It's small, it's light, those are some of the other features, um, but I highly recommend it. Now, along with that, the Photodeox Visilex ND Throttle Adapter, <laughs> I'm reading it. It's uh, my three uh, words for this are versatile, venture, and velvety. So this allows you to adapt any EF lens. So there's an 85 mil Canon EF, any EF lens for your um, X mount, so your Fuji. So this has been a great addition. Now, what you can't really see is right here, this ring, it's a built-in ND filter and it's smooth. And that's why I use the word velvety is because you just slowly ratchet it up, ratchet it back, and it's amazing. A built-in ND filter is the way to go. You never have to add it. You never have to have realized you forgot it. So highly recommend that. It's a little bit pricey, about $2.99. And actually they sent me a 20% discount because um, I ordered the one without the ND filter and said I would rather have that. So they are very nice, very gracious. And they sent me uh, a discount code to use that. And I've been loving that. The shots that I did in LA were using that. I'll put up some photos of that. All right, the last, the last product that made a difference for me in 2020 is the Fuji X100. This little camera shocked me, surprised me, mesmerized me, and basically made me wanna take it everywhere so that I could shoot. It has film simulations, so I shoot JPEG and RAW, so you get that look baked into the JPEG transfers to the smartphone for instant easy posting on social media um, it's one focal length 23 mil so you never are thinking about your focal length you're moving your feet using street photography has a nice little uh kind of uh, knurled grip here for changing the aperture which i love um, f2 lens which is newly redesigned to work with the sensor i find the photos i take with this are probably some of the sharpest most amazing photos Comparable, I think, to the 5D Mark IV, which I think is almost unparalleled for image quality. Got a little flip-up screen, which is handy when you're shooting horizontal. Not great when you're shooting vertical. Um, but high-speed continuous shooting is great, like 15 frames a second. And uh, I love it. It does 4K video, too, which I've used a little bit and will probably use more as a B-cam. 
has a built-in ND filter, one of my favorite features. You can turn this on during the day, lower your shutter speed, and get some motion blur into those street photography photos. Now, some trends I noticed last year on my list, I had three lighting items, two accessories, one audio accessory, two lenses, and two cameras. And this year, I had four cameras on my list, count them four, uh, the EOS R, the X100V, the X-T4, and the GoPro, and I had one lens adapter, four accessories, the work table, the speaker, the knife, um, the battery charger, the portable powder, power bank, and then two pieces of software. So what's interesting to me in terms of trends is I see a move, last year I was very into uh, learning off-camera lighting, and so I had the Godox and an umbrella and uh, the Godox trigger, um, as well as the light, but then this year, I have more of a focus on um, product photography and client accessories to help the client experience. So that's a kind of a trend I've seen. Of course, COVID impacted a lot of that. But also, if you're following Instagram or this channel, you've seen a transition uh, adding Fuji in as well as the Canon uh, cameras that I love. So we'll see what next year holds. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, it was helpful. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. Just some ideas, things. If you're looking to buy somebody a photographer in your life, a gift, or if you wanna pick up something that make a difference,